What's going on guys? Welcome to another tutorial in Adobe Photoshop CC. In this video, I am going to show you how to remove a person from a photo. Now, I have to say you need to use this tutorial with caution because just in case you don't want to permanently remove that person from the picture, you might want to store a backup somewhere. But let's check out this photo of this Android character over here. This is a statue of the Android new got new version of Android that's coming out soon. And the person in the background kind of interferes with the picture of the statue. So let's go over here and check this out. Now there's a variety of ways that you can remove this person. One of them being you use the magic wand tool, try to select the person. Another way is using one of the lasso tools here. But what I'm gonna do is create a silhouette around the person using the pen tool. So we're gonna select window and then select paths. Then we're gonna select the pen tool and we're gonna start creating ourselves a path around them. Now I'm gonna select a new path here and then we can get to creating the path itself. Now if you notice I selected that area first and then we can continue drawing here. So I close the path there. That way we can start here. And this path doesn't necessarily have to be the most perfect path. It just has to be around what you're trying to replace with the background. So there we have our path set and by taking this path here, we can have a selection right there. So now the person is selected. Now there's a variety of ways of doing this as I explained before. I'll simply show you guys one of the tools that Photoshop has here. We can go to edit, fill, or you can press shift delete. And over here we have content aware. If you don't see content aware here next to contents, it might say gray or something else over here. You can select content aware. Essentially content aware fill is supposed to take what they see in the image because we're going to be removing the person. So select OK. Now, if I press Command D, or if you have a PC, Control D, you're gonna remove the selection and you're gonna see the picture looks weird. This is one of the things I like to explain with Photoshop. Photoshop has tools that you can utilize. And of course, when you see these presentations with some of the tools, for certain photos, a content aware fill or any other option that you would select to replace the person with the background could work. But what it really takes, especially in a picture like this where these additional artifacts are here, we have to use some retouching. So what I'm going to do is press Command Z and then press Alt Command Z and there he is. Now what we're going to do here in this situation, I'm going to choose to use a different tool and that would be the patch tool. The reason why I'm going to do that because I think I'll get less artifacts and then from there I can start retouching. Select this area and then start looking for an area in the background that I want. Try to line it up with the window already where you see that line. So now where we begin because yes the ground looks messed up but it looks a little bit better than with a content aware fill. Now first of all, Already I can see this over here that looks really messed up. And what we can do is go to window, select layers. So we have our layers panel over here. I don't need this patch tool anymore. And in the layers panel here, you see that the background is locked. I'm gonna unlock that. And then we're gonna start getting rid of these additional artifacts. Now, again, there's a variety of ways you can do this. You can select an airbrush and you can use the eyedropper, select a color and start painting there. What I would recommend is either like the heel tool or even the clone stamp tool. These are tools over here that you can use. Clone stamp, if I select a different size brush, I can press Alt or Option on the keyboard, select an area and you already see that it's gonna pick up that color. It even shows the same kind of pixels that you're picking up. So that's a more precise way than just using a simple airbrush. We can also use the healing tool. So if I just select there, you see right away that I'm actually exactly what it says that you want to do, healing the picture basically, and you're getting rid of those artifacts. So that's another cool tool. And these are just simple ways that you can actually make the picture look the most realistic as possible while the viewer is thinking that that's the original photo. That's the goal. You don't want people looking at this picture saying, wow, that looks really Photoshopped. Not in this situation, because all you want to do is remove the person from the picture. So that's the task at hand, and I'm going to start retouching this as best as I can.
So right now what we're going to do is create another layer even. And when I get into this area here, I'm going to use the clone stamp tool. That way I can just start adding some color. And this is something that I do a lot. You're going to select the layer where you want to get that color again. And you're going to see that I have color here. Now it might look funny at first, but what we're going to do is take that additional layer here and just start adding the clone stamp. Everyone has a different way of working, especially with Photoshop. But what I like to do is get in a rhythm where I'm actually seeing the elements that I want to copy, start removing them, replacing them, even erasing those edges. You see how those edges there are like rigid lines? You want to get rid of all those artifacts. So this is a time consuming thing, but that's what retouching is. I know they like to show those presentations where everything's magically working and all that kind of stuff. But that's just not the way Photoshop is. You know, there's not the technology, not yet, where you can just open up a photo and magically everything's going to work the same in each individual photo. Just not how it happens. So anyways, we're going to continue doing this. And I'm going to keep adding some elements to the best of my abilities. And just start getting rid of, again, these artifacts. And when we talk about artifacts and photography, we're basically talking about extra pixelation and anything that you really don't want. And let's just zoom out here. And you know what? For a quick retouch, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with that because that was really quick. But anyways, we're going to go down here to the bottom now and let's select some more areas. By the way, the reason why you're creating new layers here is because when you want to use a tool like the eraser tool and you want to start erasing things, you have the option here with your layers so you can work with them. And I know some people out there, they might slow down in a situation like this and they want to, you know, name each layer, which you can do. But often when I'm actually showing an example like this, I'll just merge the layers. And if I want to save the project and eventually, you know, label them, you can always do that. You know, labeling the layers is a good idea, especially if you're just learning. You could do that so you can keep track of the layers that you're using. But anyways, if you look here as I zoom in, you're seeing specifically the individual pixels. And I know some people might think this is crazy. If you're not someone who's ever retouched, you're like, wow, there's a lot of pixels there. But look at that. See how it looks awkward over here? So in this situation, I would take the clone stamp tool again rather than brush. See how the pixels match up right there compared to that? So I'll take that layer over there and then just add the patch there. Very simple techniques. Now to me personally, that area looks a little bit weird because it's kind of sloped down and it doesn't look realistic. So what I'll do here again is add some more elements to the ground there in the cement. And let's take the clone stamp tool here.
There's one more thing that I noticed about this picture. That person is actually in the background. There he is. <laughs> He's like the mysterious guy in the background in the reflection of the window. Again, when you're retouching, you want to notice the small details here because that reflection doesn't make much sense at all. So what we're going to do is probably just utilize the color of the Android here and fill it in here because basically that's what you would see in the reflection. Let's use the clone stamp tool here and see if we can select the color and have the layer selected. Now another trick that I'm going to show you guys, it's not really a trick, it's just something I do, but it's something that, you know, saves you time. What sometimes I do is I'll actually take this selection here and I'll press either Alt or the Option key and I'm actually going to press Shift at the same time and then I add that element again. Then what we do is press Command or Control E and then I have that as one layer. So you see like that. It's just something I do to save time so we're not continuously using that clone stamp tool because it can be time consuming. And this looks really funny and weird but we're going to do some stuff here so we make it look more realistic. And then because it's an Android like this, I'm just going to get rid of that there. And this poll actually helps the situation because it's really rigid over here already. So that'll help when we're actually you know, finishing this. I'm actually going to lower the fill just a little bit. Zoom out. See what that looks like. And to some people, they might say that's okay or whatever, but for myself, again, I am a perfectionist about these things. And the reason why I say I'm a perfectionist about these things is because you'll notice these pixels. The more you work on these kind of projects, you're going to start noticing these different elements and you're going to say, wow, I should really take the time to just, you know, fix this, you know, change this here or whatever. Now if you notice what I'm doing here is just I'm adding another element to this picture just because I wanted to put something there that made it look more realistic. And the one thing that I'm going to change right here is just this background area. This was something that was already in the picture but I am going to change that because I think that the background probably could use the floor there. It would probably look even more realistic. So all I'm doing is taking the clone stamp tool and then we can add it right there. That looks pretty cool. So I'm going to merge these layers, Command or Control E. And that is my retouching of this Android picture. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This was a really detailed retouching tutorial in Adobe Photoshop CC. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you guys think about these kind of tutorials. Post your comments down below. And of course, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.